Welcome to my perfume and luxury channel. Here we talk about the lovely fragrances and just luxury bags in general. And today we're talking about my most worn perfumes this year so far. It's been six months out of this year, so I thought I would round up what fragrances I've been wearing the most and what fragrances you might want to buy because they're just that good that I crave them all the time and they're better compared to all the other fragrances I've got. Let's talk about the first fragrance I've been craving so much. It's so, so good. Uh, Victor and Rolf have come out with a new fragrance this year, which is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And this fragrance, guys, if you love the original Flower Bomb, which is super sweet and sugary, this just is that, but it's a bit more, I would say, fruity and gourmand and a bit more gives you a bit more sweetness but that like syrupy sweetness sweetness not that like super light and fluffy sweetness so i love this i can smell a bit of like orange in there it smells like candy but it also smells like caramel a little bit it's so so good it doesn't last as long as i would want it to but guys like this is a craving sort of a fragrance if you love semi gourmands just really indulgent fragrances you'll fall in love with this this is so good i layer it sometimes i come into this room and i'm like i want to smell like this fragrance it's just it's just an obsession at this point and i'll definitely run out of this little tiny bottle I want to also thank the sponsor of today's video. It's Lily Silk and I'm wearing their pieces right now. They are a silk retailer, online retailer, and they offer pajamas, bedding, they offer dresses, tops, just everything you can think of. Even the scrunchie I'm wearing on my head. They make beautiful, high quality mulberry silk pieces and if you know anything about silk it is incredibly breathable it's great for anti-aging for example i've been sleeping on um mulberry silk pillowcases little silk ones i've got different ones for a couple of years now and i can totally tell it is perfect for skin it really prevents any creasing you know when you wake up and you've got those creases in your skin you never get that with silk pillowcases, so I really recommend it if you really want to start caring for your skin. That is one awesome, awesome option for your hair also when you put it up in a silk, it's crunchy, it protects your hair, it doesn't damage your hair, it's just a wonderful material. Literally, silk is also environmentally conscious, so they really care about zero waste um, and that is an awesome thing because when you are supporting them, they are also caring about the environment and producing such a luxury beautiful pieces the packaging it comes in is also luxurious so if you're looking for a new silk kami or a little pajama or a blouse for work silk is that option for you because it's incredibly durable the last two years um, and it's so much better than like any satin or like silk look alike. You can find a link to Lilisilk down below and a discount code especially for you guys if you want to check them out. Now let's jump back into the fragrances. The second fragrance I've been wearing a lot, I mean I am obsessed with it, is Oud Satin Mood. This is the Eau de Parfum from Maison Francisca Cajan, MFK for short because <laughs> the name is quite hard. This is a rose and oud fragrance and it's magical. It's velvety, it's sweet, it's got so much texture and like comfort when you wear it. And it's a powerful, just confidence boosting fragrance. I love wearing it with Baccarat Rouge, especially. They mesh perfectly together. I don't know if it was one of you that said, um, or I mix them and then I mix them or was it just something that I came up by myself? I don't remember, but if it was one of you, thank you, because I've started wearing Baccarat Rouge with this and they are just amazing together. It's incredibly long lasting, such a signature worthy scent, so, so good. Next fragrance I've been obsessed with, especially now that the weather has turned and it's becoming warmer, finally, guys. Like, English summer is not the best. I miss just really hot summers. When I lived in Poland, 
you get like proper summers, hot summers, whereas here it's just, it's rubbish. Anyway, I've been wearing this one. It's a, um, it's considered like a manly fragrance. It's in the Parfum de Mali man's bottle because they've got like two different bottles, one for women's fragrances and one for men's. But I would say this is totally unisex. It's transparent, uh, it's spicy, woody, it's um, aromatic. It's such a refreshing fragrance. It's citrusy, doesn't have much sweetness to it at all, but it lasts and lasts, which is hard for a warmer weather scent to do. So this is an excellent find. Totally just so, so good. And yeah, if you're a woman and you've never tried the men's fragrances, I would recommend this one and inherit the most for women from the men's um, section. Next up, another MFK fragrance. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this brand. I love them so much. So another fragrance is a la rose this is the eau de parfum uh, this fragrance i've been wearing quite a lot i love just wearing it also when it's warmer it has such a clean rosy scent but it's extremely luxurious elegant perfect scent if you like just light floral scents maybe for work this is just luxurious and i love that they do those small bottles now because you can just pop them in a bag like i love popping uh, this bottle in my bag i've got like a little a protective cover for it as well so yeah perfect if you are working and you because th with this fragrance you need to reapply it after about four hours i would say for like the scent to be still give you a good cloud but not be too much uh, so yeah i love this one next fragrance i've been wearing the most is definitely Liz Solberg. this is uh, from maison crivelli and this fragrance i am surprised i have not run out more of but the truth is that you don't need as much of it as i thought you would for the scent to last i only spray like two or three sprays of it because i love how soft this is this is a sunny fragrance and um, that is very soft and comforting and i do believe it's got some iris in here it's just it's powdery but in this like sunny way uh, i believe it's supposed to smell like a scandinavian warm forest but obviously scandinavia doesn't get as warm especially on the coast of like norway for example uh, so this is like your norwegian summer i would say it never gets too warm it just you still get that breeze even if it's sunny you just get all this like beautiful um vegetation all the trees and just sun peeking through it's extremely um unique i would say and one of the best like warmer weather fragrances out there it's so so unique so good next fragrance is also from parfum de mali so we've got two parfum de mali and two mfks here this is this little fun bottle, Oriana. This fragrance, it's just fun. I am a person that loves like sweet and heavier fragrances and syrupy. And this is sweet, but it's very girly, very fun. When my husband smells this, he uh, says that I smell like a teenager or like uh, just a young person. Well, I'm still young, but you know, like beginning of my 20s or something. It's just a fun, positive, not a worry in the world, sort of an everyday scent. It smells like marshmallows, smells like oranges. It's so, so good and it doesn't last a huge amount of time, which I hate, but sometimes the scent is just so so worth it so i love wearing it on an everyday basis because it's it's fun but like in a way that you can just wear it every day it doesn't project too much but like if i'm working from home or if i'm not too bothered about my fragrance being super super loud then this is just my guilty pleasure or a sort of a scent Next is Urwood from Tom Ford. This fragrance I'm nearly running out of. I'll have to get a top of. My husband and me, we both wear this one, but I've been wearing it loads recently. And this is my most complimented fragrance this year. Like, 
or ever actually. I just never get more compliments than for this from complete strangers, from people that know me, from men, from women, from just it's a crazy sort of a scent. It's woody, it's dry. You wouldn't think of it as a compliment getting scent necessarily. Like in my mind, I was like, oh, this is surprising that this scent gets so, so many compliments. Uh, but this does for some reason. And it's such a good scent because like when you smell it, you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, women like would love this fragrance, but it smells so good in women because usually designers just give you the sweet 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 candy like scents but try something different like this is so so good in a woman i believe um taylor swift actually this used to be her signature scent and i totally get why because it gives you that just confidence and it's such a good good scent very sexy i would say and the last fragrance i've been wearing a lot just around the house and also running errands. I just love the scent. It's um, Molecule 01 Mandarin. Even ever since I got this scent, I just love wearing it. You don't need a lot of it, but you could spray tons and tons of it because it's never too heavy or just too annoying or nauseating or anything. It's a refreshing Mandarin scent, but it's Mandarin that lasts, which is so hard to do. Smells quite literal of a mandarin, um, and then gives you that airiness, lasts a long time, compliment getting as well. Just such a good everyday sort of a warmer weather scent. I love this one so, so much. And it's, there's quite a few like warmer weather scents in this, um, because I think I've started actually finding warmer weather scents that I enjoy wearing and I usually really really struggle with that because I like sweeter scents or I like quite natural scents. I don't like many florals so if you're similar to me then you'll definitely love all of these because they are more of that just natural fresh scent without being like oh my gosh I'm covered in flowers because it's spring <laughs> or summer you know. Check out Lily Silk for all of these beautiful silk pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Monica underscore where I post a bit more about my outfits, lifestyle and stuff like that. So I would love to see you there and I'll see you very, very soon.